Hello and welcome back to the McLaren 675 LT. Now, I know we haven't seen this car for a while. It's been a bit of a conscious decision because after I came back from the uh, road trip that I did with Sam Seven Paul earlier this year, the car was on exactly 9,800 miles. And in the supercar world, there's this psychological market barrier that as soon as a supercar goes over 10, it just enters this whole realm of, for whatever reason, a different price bracket, which is weird. Anyway, today is the day that I finally sold this car. It's a sad day because as you know, it's one of my favorite cars. It's categorically one of the best cars I've ever driven. It's certainly one of the best cars that I've ever owned. And every step of the way has been special because I've been able to share it with you guys. It's been a monumental experience and it was my sort of super induction into the world of McLaren. However, there are new things coming. There's cars which are coming in the future and I ultimately need to make way for those things to come. So here's a few clips, a few reminders of just how cool this car was, going all the way back to the epiphany that was my realization as to what boundaries could be pushed in a supercar. <laughs> What is this? What on earth is this witchcraft? I'm experiencing something otherworldly here, guys. Sell your kids, sell the house, bribe the accountant, whatever it takes. You need one of these. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll suck it to the F12. And I'll announce on the radio. Final go from three. Three, two, one, go! and enjoy them and just saturate yourself in the fact that you can use these cars all year round no matter the weather.
spider. Uh, I think we know who's gonna kill this. Okay, moment of truth. So there you have it, 12 amazing months. I cannot believe, looking over all of that footage, just how incredible the adventures have been with this car. It's great because from day one, it's been a YouTube car from the day I bought it. In fact, from the very first time that I drove a 675 LT, which was the spider clip that you saw in Tenerife, that journey of the epiphany that was, wow, how has somebody created such a weapon for the road, all the way through, buying it at first, road trips, adventures, first drives. It's just reminded me how incredible this platform has been. However, I do feel the need to say that as a brand, McLaren are very technology driven. And as, as a result of that, whenever they launch a new car, it highlights so much uh, just how they've advanced versus their older cars. So when I step into a 720S now, after being in this, it feels like a concept car. It is so far advanced compared to this. Just even the infotainment system feeling of the interior is just leaps and bounds ahead of this. It's, it's just night and day. Even the performance of it, to when I drive this thing, the acceleration and thrust it gives me, I always question how much more can you possibly get from a car. Then I step into a 720S, which is their replacement 650S. It's not even their you know lightweight version of that car. It's their new supercar, which has just led me to think that you know this brand is changing so much that it's time to get out of this car because the way that they're evolving with them being such a tech-driven platform, uh, unfortunately, makes their older cars feel outdated very quickly. So, yeah time to move on uh we're making way for other cars to come as well more on that soon what i want to know from you guys comment below i want to hear your favorite moments with that car any particular memories that stand out share them with us below i'd love to hear it anyway guys exciting stuff coming soon it is a sad time to see the lt go but it's making way for some awesomeness and uh yeah you'll be uh, the first to know about that soon as always guys thanks for watching See you next time. Ciao.